What's up world? Um, just want to make an introductory video. Post this on my first first video of my page and um, so just tell you a little bit about myself, um, how I got into trucking, um, all that fun stuff. Try to make it short and sweet. Um, I've been in IT for almost all my life. I've been just a computer geek, just a nerd. <laughs> Um, owned my own computer repair shop, did that for six years, and just got burnt out. Uh, got burnt out on fixing computers and also the cost of computers and stuff just kept getting lower and lower and lower. Uh, cheaper parts, so... Uh, it's also affecting, started affecting our business because, uh, you know, why sink 150 bucks into repairing your crack screen computer or spilled coffee and replace the motherboard or whatever when you can go down to Walmart and buy a brand new computer for two, you know, 300 bucks, 400 bucks. You get a warranty and new operating system and yada, yada, yada. Long story short, um, Supported many businesses, uh, had a really good business, and just got burnt out on it, you know, putting out fires left and right, um, uh, you know, the whole mentality of customer calls you back six months later and tells you that the computer's slow again, and, you know, it's uh, you're the last person that touched it, and, you know... And come to find out that, well, it's because your kid or your husband or whatever is, you know, going to bad websites or downloading stuff that they that they shouldn't. Anyway, um, just got burnt out on the whole thing. I've been doing computers for like, I would probably say 20, yeah, that's no, 18 years. Uh, I worked at multiple corporate offices uh, supporting in-house computers, but it's just hand-holding all day. You know, you're fixing computers that that people don't really know much about. So you're, you know, it's it's more of like a training thing. Um, support, you know, you're, you're fixing printer jams and networking and stuff like that. It's fun, you know. Don't get me wrong, and and it, and it paid really good money, but. Uh, I just got I just got burnt out on it, and maybe one day I'll go back to it. I don't know. Um, so I closed up my computer shop. My my commercial lease was up, and um, you know I was starting to see a pattern of people not repairing their computers and uh, going to buy new ones. So I didn't feel comfortable, you know, signing another four six year lease term. And, um, so I got out of the business, continued to support people and, and, and the business clients that I had through my house and everything. And, um, everything, you know, stayed going good for about another year or so. And, uh, at, you know, then at the same time, it was both a mix of getting burnt out and, you know, get, finding it harder to make that sale, you know, to, to, to get them to re repair the computer or whatnot and um so i started looking for other jobs and posting my resume out everywhere and uh, the state that i live in or the city that i live in is not very technical so there's not a lot of you know it jobs it, it, it it's a it's a handful of uh of jobs so um you know i wasn't really getting that many replies back and um you've got everyone under the sun also applying because of the economy and everything like that so um i came across youtube one day just going down the rabbit hole and i don't know what i was looking at like car crashes or i don't know motorcycle stuff or something like that and i came across a video of somebody doing trucking and basically documenting his uh story of his training and uh, things like that. And I thought, you know, that that seems pretty cool. You know, I, I've always been somewhat mechanical and good with, uh, you know, uh, 
with heavy equipment. I, uh, I, I, I was in the Coast Guard for quite a while. I ran backhoes and dump trucks and stuff like that. And, and I really enjoyed that. I mean, if I could find a job that was, that was doing, you know, running a backhoe and, and stuff like that, that would have been awesome. But I don't really have the certifications or the experience, uh, to, to, you know, to jump right into one of those jobs. So, uh, I, uh, did uh, so much research. I just did probably, God knows, 15, 2000 hours of YouTube. Just also while I was sending resumes out and, um, and then just made the decision, screw it. Let's, let's do this. You know, let's, let's see what this is all about. And if I don't like it in a year or so, then I can go back to doing IT. Uh, I have, you know, um, another career or another skill set that I can uh, that I can fall back on if I don't like trucking or or whatnot. The, the sun is setting, so it's bouncing off my hood mirror. But uh, I didn't have a lot of money. And I certainly, certainly didn't have like three or four thousand dollars to go to school. I know. I'm sorry. This video is going to be a little lengthier than what I will do in the future. But um, I just want to give as much information about me. So, um, you know, in my future videos, people know about me. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. And um. Uh, so anyway, long story short, I didn't have enough money to go to private school, stuff like that. And so I went with, yes, I went with a mega carrier and I went with Swift. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I hear the haters now. Ah, stupid Swift. Da, da, da. But uh, I'll be honest, in reality, it was a good, it was a good, I got nothing bad to say about Swift. They, I went through their court, their, their driving course and, uh, Phoenix, uh, did the whole mentor thing, um, and, and things like that. And it was great. You know, I, it, they kept me moving. That was the most important thing that I, that, that I told my driver manager and things when I, when I got assigned my truck was that's all I asked from you. You know, I'll, I'll take whatever load you need me to take an emergency or no matter how short or how long it is. I, I just, I'm here to work. Just keep me running. Just keep my truck moving. That's all I ask. And um, and they did. You know, they, they did. They. I was hardly ever sitting. I think one time I sat for like a whole Sunday and I didn't get any loads. And But it's the weekend. You know, that's sometimes how it goes. And uh wasn't that big of a deal. They, you know, so from my opinion, my experience... All these people saying that, you know, Swift is a horrible company. Don't ever go to them. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it is what you make of it. You know, if if you go in with a positive mind and a positive mindset and a goal and, you know, just just get through it. You know, it's, it's not easy. The most, you know, the, the horrible part about Swift, I would have to say, was the mentor phase. I went through three mentors. Before I got finished. Um, and I'll go down that road later. Uh, but yeah. Not, not my fault. Just the, you know, just issues that the mentor had with the company. And such and such. So I kind of got bounced around there. But I finished up with um, my last mentor. Knocked out my like last 20 hours. I still talk to him today. It's been almost 10, 11 months ago. Um, I still talk to him today. You know, he's still with Swift. And, um, you know, I've got nothing bad to say about Swift. They gave me a shot. They, they, their training was good. You know, I, I buckled down. I, I, I listened to everything that they, that they were trying to, you know, that they, that they teach. And, um, you know, I, I, I did really good. And, um, I, I feel that they have prepared me pretty darn well for being out here on my own um you know i i granted i'm i learn everything new every single day but for the most part they got me what i needed to get going and for that i thank them uh but i did leave them after about five after about five months i did leave them i did leave uh i i, I cleaned out my truck and i quit 
um, gave notice and everything like that. And the reason why I did that was because um, the quality of life in the truck. That's the only reason why. Um, they gave me a new truck. I mean, I don't don't get me wrong there. The equipment was good. You know, I had a 2015 Freightliner, uh, 10 speed. But the living conditions or living qual the quality of life in the truck was terrible. I mean, I just it was it was horrible. Um, I had a cooler, and every day I had to buy bags of ice. Two dollars. You're looking at two dollars for a bag of ice every single day, and that gets you know that gets expensive. And not only does it get expensive, but it's annoying. You know, if you if you forget to 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 buy your bag of ice that day, well, you better pray that you know you're parked somewhere close that you can go get that bag of ice because all your lunch meat and mayonnaise and all that all that stuff it's gonna you know it's gonna go bad on you real quick if you don't if you don't keep that stuff cold so um no inverter besides their little mickey mouse you know um uh, cigarette 12 volt inverters that you can plug in and i mean let's be honest you can't really run much off of those inverters you know maybe uh, uh, uh you charge your laptop or charge your recharge your um your beard shaver uh, your cell phone i mean you know small stuff like that you're not going to be able to run a microwave you're not going to be able to run uh, a playstation or if you're a gamer or anything like that and um uh so that was a that was a huge thing um it was basically a steering wheel seat a qualcomm and a bed and um that, that that's pretty inside the truck that was pretty much it and um i thought what so one day i came home and i i was on home time i just searched that on the internet and i found a better company that had all these amenities in the truck uh refrigerator a 1500 watt um inverter doesn't have an apu but um you know, I, I, me as a company driver, I don't really see what I need an APU for right now. Um, you know, they don't bother me about idle, about idling and stuff like that. Um, Direct TV, uh, 20, 27 or 24 inch flat screen TV, uh, D Direct TV DVR. What else? Uh, brand new 2016 Freightliner. Uh, it is an automatic, and that I had to get used to, but uh, I love it now. You know, I, I've gotten used to it, and um, it's it's chill. You know, it's just you just put it in drive and just you just go. I do miss the manual though. Sometimes, you know, I'm like, damn, I miss going through those gears. Cause it's, it's fun. You know, it's fun, but. I found at the end of the day, I wasn't as tired when I started driving this automatic. Um, maybe I don't know if that's just me um, or if other people have noticed that too. But yeah, I found I found myself to have you know a little bit more energy than I did at the end of the day. You know, I wasn't just passing out in the back seat and just or in the in in the bed and just you know completely exhausted. I was I was still tired, but not as not as much as I felt when I was driving the manual and um, so I did take a somewhat of a pay cut I took a penny less per mile but in my opinion the the amenities in the truck made up for that penny per mile uh, six days holiday pay uh, 3,000 sign-on bonus and uh, things like that. Anyway, I'm getting, I'm kind of getting too far in the details, but uh, I did switch companies. I left Swift after five or so months, and now I've been with this company for uh, going on another six months now. So I'm really close to that one year mark. And um, you know, I, I, I enjoy it so far. I'm you know, eleven or twelve months into this now, or something like that. Uh, Ten. 10 months I uh, can't remember it so I went into this in uh, April of last year so 
I do, I am married. I do have a uh, one kid. And that's the hardest thing about this entire job. I mean, it's that's the worst. I love I actually love this job. I really enjoy it. Um I look forward to not knowing where I'm going to go next. Illinois, Indiana, whatever, Ohio, Montana, whatever. That's fun. And I never know what's going to go in the back of my trailer. Um, oh, one thing, Swift was dry van. And now this company that I'm doing right now is Reefer. Um, and to be honest, I, I don't really see that big of a difference between the two. I mean, even Swift with dry van, I was still having 12, 1 o'clock in the morning appointments and stuff like that. Uh, the only thing is, is when you're trying to sleep, uh, you, you've got that sound of the, uh, of the, you know, the, the reefer running on the trailer. But I've gotten so used to it now that I love the sound now. It, it, it like puts me to sleep uh, that you got that. You know, nice constant hum. You put it in continuous mode, and um, uh, it's just, it's just like a, like a, you know, rocking your baby to sleep. It's just, it's, I just, I pass out. Um, so that's not that bad, you know. It, it's really not. Uh, some people don't like reefer, um, but it's just prefer personal preference, you know. What, whatever. Um, so I am, uh, I do stay out about three to four, three to, f about three and a half weeks or so at a time. And then I come home. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much my story. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've been an IT geek my entire life. Uh, I've always been that kid or guy or kid who's, neighbor comes to you to program the VCR or whatever. And, um, it's just something that's always come natural to me. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I love it. I, I like it stuff, but you just get burned out doing just like trucking. You know, people sometimes get burned out on trucking and they just want to go do something else. So, um, this job has given me a lot of time to think, um, you know, just about just everything in my life, uh, Goals I've accomplished, mistakes I've made in life, uh, everything. And um, w this job has really opened my eyes to a different world, you know. Um, it makes you really realize how much... It takes you out of that day-to-day -day grind when you're living at your house and you just go home, take shower, dinner, spend like two or three hours with your family and then wake up the next morning and boom, you're gone. Um, you, you, you know, you... Don't get me wrong, being home is nice and stuff like that, but you just, after a while, you get used to, like, living out in the road and being, and, and just realizing, at least to me, like, how much of this bullshit that I have in my house that I don't need. You know, all these little possessions and stuff like that, that it's just, they're just, like, distractions, you know, for, for, for... Um, spending quality time with your friends or family and things like that. So when I go home now, it's, you know, it's made my relationship with my wife and kid and, and, and my other family members that much stronger because when I come home, it's, it's all family time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I... I sit down at the computer for a couple hours or whatever, play a couple games and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I, I appreciate the time that I have with my family much, much more. And um, if I was still doing a nine to five grind, stuff like that, I, those are things you just take for granted. You know, um, when you take this truck out for three, four weeks, two months, whatever it is at a time, you, you don't know what is going to happen. You know, you don't know. If you're going to be coming back, uh, you know, pray to, you know, pray, you pray nothing happens and things like that. But this is a, you know, it's a really dangerous job. Um, not so much. I mean, in my opinion, I'm really safe driver, you know, but what worries me the most is all the other people that are out here, you know, all, not just the truckers, but the cars, um, uh, you know, um, 
ice, weather conditions, stuff like that, you know? Um, so, it's, you know, and, and, and money-wise and stuff like that, it's, it, it's not bad. Yeah, I, I am still in my first year, so I, I'm not making, you know, buku bucks, but I am, I am staying afloat. You know what I'm saying? I, I am a company driver. Um, I get, you know, I'll, I'll be, this is the thing here with my, this channel. And let me, let me kind of get into that. Um, I'm not here to make any referrals or promote my name or promote my business or my family's business or anything like that. I'm here to post a video documenting also my experience of what I'm going through just like I had the pleasure to see when I was thinking about doing this and um, uh, you know I, I I know a lot of trucking guys videos that are that I that I owe a lot to because I've learned a lot from them even before I went into trucking to the to the you know the, the academy and all that so um, you know your boy e the trucker I mean, I, I'm so sad that he doesn't make videos anymore, but, you know, things change and time moves on. But, you know, man, dude, I, you know, I, I, that dude right there, that's, that's my, that's my, that's my mentor. That, 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 that homie was, I mean, I, I didn't even get to speak to him or know him or nothing. And I feel, or anything, I feel that. You know, I, I know the guy, you know, I spent that much time watching all his videos and good videos, good information videos, just knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge of what to expect. This is how you do this and this is how you do that. And, um, you know, I'm my goal here is to not, you know, to document this experience of mine. If it can help somebody else out, like it helped me. You know, awesome. I love, you know, I appreciate that and most importantly is that you know I plan on keeping this you know a hundred and ten percent truthful and personal you know um, like I said I'm not here to make money for referrals I'm never going to give you a 1-800 phone number and tell you to come to my company because it's the best company that there's ever out on the road and da, da, da. and it's just not going to be like that here. So if you're looking for that, um, you know, it, there's many, 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 many other YouTube channels that you can go find that stuff on. And, um, and, and you know, people got to do what they got to do to survive, you know? So I, I ain't, I'm not, I'm not hating or anything like that or, or, or you know, mad at y'all, but just tell the truth how it is out here. So, um, what, what, what this job is really all about and what the goods, the bads, the ups, the downs, the sideways, the diagonal, the sunny days, the cloudy days, the, everything. That's just how it's going to be here. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm packing up my truck right now. I've been on home time now for about five days. My company is actually really good about home time. And uh, so I'm, I just cleaned my entire truck. Um, I'm kind of a clean, somewhat of a clean freak, but um, there's just nothing better than getting in your truck and you got things all organized and you got, you know, stuff where it's supposed to be and your floor's clean and your gauges are clean and, you, and you, you're dashboard is you know clear of crap and 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 dust and stuff like that that's uh, that's like my number one pet peeve i can't stand dust on my gauges and stuff like that it's just i'm kind of ocd like that but i mean it is what it is um and again i mean i'm not perfect i'm not the most prettiest motherfucker out there or in the world and i know that i got big ears i got missing teeth couple missing teeth you know what i'm saying like th that's just who i am and it, it doesn't bother me you know um so uh, you're always going to find people that are going to point out certain things about you and what they like and what they don't like and um 
that, that that's okay. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta, you know, learn to uh, brush it off and be yourself. That's that's the most important thing. Um, be yourself. So that's what this channel is about: being yourself, being a trucker out here. Um, I don't even really consider myself a trucker yet. Like I said, I've only been doing this for like ten years, ten months. So um, I'm still a uh, what do you want to say? Like an apprentice, you know, and I'm, I'm still, I still call my mentor for questions and, and, and things like that. But, um, anyway, this video is about 25 minutes long, uh, probably much longer than my normal videos will be. I'm going to try not to make my videos about da, 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 details, details, and, and, and just get to the point and get over with it. So, um, that is a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Troy and, uh, I go by I go by a, a different couple names. We'll get into that later. But I um, appreciate you guys watching my video and uh, getting to know me. And hopefully I get to know you guys. So um, if you appreciate this channel or, or, or things like that, follow me and come along for the ride. Let's go. Tomorrow I'm heading out. We're going to uh, Roswell, New Mexico. And we're going to Illinois. And um, let's go make some money. Peace.